Hey guys, you're Sterling Kevin Grace, reporting to you from Evergreen Cemetery here in Los Angeles, California. I'm here to pay my respects to a gentleman who was the first black American football player to sign a professional contract with the NFL. His name, Kenny Washington. And that happened in 1946 when the Cleveland Rams were relocating to uh, Los Angeles. They had a stipulation, Los Angeles, that they be integrated. So. He was a first signee, and then later, his old college buddy, Woody Strobe, was signed as well. And actually, he used to play for the UCLA Bruins football team in 1939. That's the same time when Ray Bartlett, Kenny Washington himself, Woody Strobe, and the great Jackie Robinson played football. So that was um, something that you really didn't see much, many football teams that had um, black players in the backfield. But anyway, he only played for about three years and then later became a um, policeman here in Los Angeles. And he died, unfortunately, in 1971 at age uh, 52. But he is buried here. It was hard finding his, his grave, but he's right here on the roadside, so not too far down. And this is section um, E is where he is buried. And this is uh, plot four three seven one and as you can see it says kenneth washington our loved one he was born in 1918 and died 1971 and like i said he was uh, 52 years of age but uh just wanted you to, to know about this gentleman if you have any questions and comments please try uh please write down below and uh also please click subscribe as well so you'll see my other vlogs that I'll that I do as well this is Kenny Washington first black American professional football player for the NFL every human being has the right to dream even in the face of humongous odds dreaming is still worth the activity because it's what happened to me i dreamed of being a great football player like the football players that played before me and i said if ever I can get into an organized football arrangement, I'm going to be like Kenny Washington. If you look at someone like a Kenny Washington, his story is not just in Los Angeles newspapers. It's picked up in Cleveland, it's picked up in New York. And I think that Kenny Washington especially brings credibility to the Los Angeles Rams. He, in many ways, is an example of how African Americans, through their efforts, not only improved a lot of African Americans, but improved a lot of those that care about professional football. The Rams knew that they'd have to get another black player for Kenny. He couldn't be the only one in the NFL. So they gave him a number of names to choose from, but he didn't want any of those others. He wanted Woody Strode. Kenny said to the Rams, before I sign, I want Woody as my teammate. But Dan Reeves was a racist. And he resented the fact that my dad married out of his race. My dad married a full-blooded Hawaiian in 1940 when it was still against the law to do so. When Dan Reeves bought the Rams, Bob Hope was part of it. And a couple other movie stars were part owners. I don't know whether Dan Reeves was a racist or not, but I do know he didn't go out of his way to prove he wasn't. Kenny Washington had the support of the community and he had the support of the black press, which at that time was a lot more powerful than you might imagine it to be today. So the Rams had to sign Woody Strode. When you think about the fact that Kenny Washington was the man to reintegrate the NFL and his teammate was Woody Strode, it just really seemed so fitting because they both ended up being teammates at UCLA. But they played semi-pro ball with the Hollywood Bears 
So it's significant when you integrate the NFL years later, there they are together. It had been a struggle to the very end, but in the summer of 1946 in Los Angeles, Washington and Strode were primed to make NFL history.